Hello, my name is Andy Atherton, an automation specialist with Kendall Electric. I am pleased to introduce you to the Sensupart Visor Code Reader, the variations available, and give you a quick demonstration of its capabilities. By the end of this video, you should better understand how to choose the appropriate Visor Code Reader version for your application. The Sensopart Visor family is separated into four types. All round, object, robotic, and code reader. Each type is designed to handle specific functions so that you only pay for what you need for a specific application. Code reader is designed to read 1D and 2D codes, do optical character recognition, and some very basic inspection depending on the variant. Visor is available in three resolutions. V10 is a 0.5 megapixel, V20 a 1.5 megapixel, and V50 a 5 megapixel. There are four lens configurations. The integrated lens options are wide, medium, and narrow angle of view, and then a C-mount version. The integrated lenses have motorized focus. For the versions with an integrated lens, an integrated light is included in white, red, or near-infrared. This light includes eight high-bright LEDs. Finally, there are three variants, standard, advanced, and professional. Each of these includes different detectors and features to optimize application requirements and system cost. The standard variant includes the ability to read 1D and 2D codes that are well contrasted and well formed. It is limited to storing eight jobs with two detectors per job and is only available in the 0.5 and 1.5 megapixel resolutions. Each detector can read only one code. The detector parameters offer the most basic adjustment. String matching capability is also provided. While parameter adjustment is limited, the algorithms are very strong giving it the ability to read less than optimal codes. The advanced variant also includes the ability to read 1D and 2D codes and adds the result processing text detector, which allows string manipulation to customize results from the code reading detectors. Image processing filters are also available to enhance images before inspection. Up to 255 jobs can be accessed with up to 255 detectors per job. This variant is available in all three resolutions. Each detector can read up to 20 codes, and the parameters are expanded to allow reading of poorly lit and degraded codes. These can be set manually or at the click of a button. Codes can also be graded according to recognized standards for print quality. The professional variant offers everything that the advanced variant offers, with the addition of alignment detectors, a pattern match and brightness, contrast, gray level inspection detectors, the OCR detector, and the shutter variation feature. It too is available in all three resolutions. Let's look at setting up the code detectors in SensoConfig. We'll start with a 1D code detector. The first step is to add the detector to the job. With the detector step selected in Setup, click on New below the detector pane. This opens the list of detectors. Select Barcode and click OK. The detector will appear in the list of detectors, and you will be able to rename it as you like. Looking first at the Code tab, by default the code symbology is set to EAN13. This is similar to a UPC code, but is used outside of the US and Canada. You can set this for the type of code you are using. For this demonstration, we will leave it at the default. Also on this tab are settings which can be used to specify which code or codes will be read, as well as setting a string to be sent over a communication channel if a code is not read. On the Reference String tab, you can set conditions to determine if the correct string was read. The expressions allow you to verify if the string is formatted correctly or contains specific characters. As previously noted, 
you can grade codes according to recognized standards. On the Quality tab, you can choose a numeric or letter grade that can be used to determine a pass or fail condition of the detector. On the Lines tab are settings to help define physical aspects of the code to be read and possibly speed up the process of reading a code. The Structures tab offers settings that can help to deal with less than ideal codes, including noisy backgrounds, skewed codes, and codes with quiet zone violations, as well as other damage. Next, a data code detector would be added to the job in the same manner as the barcode detector. The code tab for this detector is similar to the same tab for the barcode detector, but there are some differences. The default symbology is ECC200, a standard data matrix code. At the right side of the tab are three controls that were not available on the barcode detector. The top control resets any learned parameters, but also selects the level of complexity of parameters used in the training process. Below this control is the Teach button. This can be clicked to train parameters according to the complexity level chosen in the reset control. After it is pressed once, the text on it changes to Teach Additive. It can then be pressed multiple times to refine the parameter settings for codes that cannot be read. After clicking it the first time, you may need to review previously read codes to assure that they can still be read. If not, click the Teach button again. Clicking the Auto-Tune button opens a dialog that allows selection of various aspects that can be enabled or disabled during the tuning process. This process will attempt to arrive at the most robust settings for reading a code in the current image. The Reference String and Quality tabs are the same as for the barcode detector. The Advanced tab has settings to allow for variations in the code. The Symbols tab settings apply to the size of the code to be read. The Modules tab settings specify size and spacing ranges for the modules that make up the code. The Miscellaneous tab settings deal with a variety of aspects of the code and searching functionality. All of the settings on these four tabs are not necessarily enabled for all symbologies. The complexity of the settings on these last four tabs is beyond the scope of this video and become less important when you have the Teach button on the Code tab. With that in mind, let's look at using that Teach button. Let's look at a few codes that may not be ideal and see how the Teach button can help to read all of them. Without any teaching, a number of these codes can be read with default settings. Some of them cannot. Clicking the Teach button allows this code to be read, but then as we loop back through, we see that codes that were previously read are no longer read. By clicking the Teach button on these codes, we can read all of the codes present in all of the images. This video should provide you with the knowledge for choosing the appropriate version of SensorPart Visor Code Reader and help you start to set it up to read your codes. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about SensorPart Visor, please contact your Kendall Account Manager or Automation Specialist. Please visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest you. Stay connected to us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thanks again. And we'll see you on the next Kendall Quick Connection video.